there, there's such an abundance of, of knowledge that's in the, the wiki, 30 years of wisdom. And I wanted to just highlight a few that, that I have heard over the years and um, that really is, has stuck with me that, that to me, I think helps define culture. And, and they're actually in a document called Observations on Innovation. I highly recommend reading that. It's within the Leadership and Adaptive Organization. So uh, there's four of them. Number one, the hierarchy as an organizational structure has outlived its usefulness. An unbounded network structure better serves the dynamic needs of services business and customers are part of that network. Number two, most companies are not worthy of the talent they employ. Standardized job descriptions roles ensure that we get the least common denominator of employee productivity. Number three, traditional support metrics are a great source of organizational dysfunction. Fortunately, many support analysts and engineers do the right thing in spite of them. <laughs> and we need to move from transaction and activity-based measures to customer value-based measures. Uh, and number four, the idea of managers assessing people's contribution is a ridiculous notion. Value created should be assessed by those who are realizing the value. When we were talking about this and putting this together, I thought about just the consortium itself is a great example of how a culture forms. If you think about this community and um, and how we come together and help each other. And so I, I thought it was something that, you know, as you're attending other meetings, you know, maybe that's something that you think about um, is you know, how can this culture be something that we model after? Absolutely. A lot of wisdom in this consortium group. And I, I think it's to your point, uh, Laurel, it's phenomenal to see friends, colleagues, and even sometimes friendly competitors across the industry within this body of consortium members sharing what's working and what's not working and to come up with those provocative assertions. 